This project, uh, which is really uh, a monumental effort for the city, it replaces legacy problems that we have had, which is inattentiveness to our streets. We actually dubbed it Revive the Drive. Uh, we wanted to explain what the, the drivers might be seeing today and what's coming up. What we know is Ocean Drive behind me from Ennis Jocelyn to I-37 is a 14 mile stretch of, of uh, probably the best scenic view in the city of Corpus Christi. The $12 million is doing a what we call a very deep reclamation and then an overlay. And I'm putting in two layers of asphalt. One you can see right behind me, the lighter black gray color. And then if you look at the southbound lane, it's a little bit of a darker color. So that one is complete going southbound that has had two layers of asphalt and some base repair that has been done. What we see going north is step one of the process. Taken up the old asphalt and have made base repairs in certain areas and have put layer one of a two layer street onto the roadway. Once that's complete, then we'll come back and put a final layer on top, stretching from the airline all the way to Louisiana. So some drivers are experiencing or seeing some premature failures, but that is in the phase one process. But what Haas Anderson discovered is that as they excavated the road layer, the sub-base below the layer, the street, is really not the most optimal. When they found that, they have been replacing that with a more a structurally sound base, but in some areas it's undetectable until the layers placed on and, and excessive driving is, is going over it. So this is a, uh, a natural part of the business process of replacing a road like this. And so the failures that you may be seeing along this northern section are being replaced as part of the project. A key thing to know is that the northbound lane is not done. It is in progress. As the base is being repaired here on the northbound lane, they'll come in with a final lift soon, and it'll be nice and smooth like the second lane you can see behind me over there, the southbound lane. The plan is we hope that by the summertime, early summer, the entire 14-mile stretch will be completely rehabilitated. When you don't address your streets in a timely manner, you don't maintain them properly, uh, after decades of doing that, you run into the trouble that we're in as a city. This city council and uh, myself and, and the team that we've assembled here in the past three years are focused more than ever on streets. We know that that is priority number one for the community.